site. That's a split right here. It just talks about the introduction, answer questions below, uh, run what's currently in the code editor by clicking the green run code button on the right hand side of your screen. So we click run code, learn security with try happy. All right, complete. Uh, just letting you know guys, so I'm uh, showing you guys how to complete these tasks. I strongly recommend reach, read through every task to get a full understanding. All right, all right, let's go task two, hello world. So this is just a simple program output. It says print hello world and answer the questions below on the co-editor print hello world. What is the flag? So in the in the hand in the co-editor right hand side, replace learn security with try hack me with hello world and click the green one code button. So we're just gonna copy this. All right, hello world. Then run code, and that's answer. Teach M print statements. All right, just running just in case. Cool. All right, click submit. Done. All right, let's go task three. Mathematical operators. So it talks about operator syntax, example, addition, subtraction, modification, division, modulus, and exponent. Then there's loops and if statements. Okay. Then there's symbols with syntax greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, greater than, or equal to, less than, equal. So it's kind of simple. Answer questions below in the co-editor, print the result 21 plus 43, what is the flag? Hint, in the co-editor on the right, write the following, print 21 plus 43. So let's uh, replace this, 21 space plus space 43, run code, and thus answer THM edition. All right, next question, print the result of 142 minus 52, what is the flag? So 142 minus 52. All right, there's THM, subtract. Then next is print the result of 10 times 342, what is the result? All right, it's 10, 342. Exercise complete, teach a modification Python. Then uh, print the result of five square, what is the flag, hint, so five dash dash two. So do the same. Run code. And the answer is THM exponent power. All right, guys, that was easy. Just learning about operator syntax and symbol and syntax. All right, task four, variables and data types. Okay, this is a variable and there's an example. String flow, integer, boolean list. So answer your questions below in the co-editor, create a variable called height and set its initial value to 200. So that's uh, height equals 200. All right, on new line, add 50 to the height variable. So follow this example. So height equals height plus 50. All right. Complete. And then on another new line, print out the value of the of height. What is the flag that appears? So next is print height. 
and the Python goes 250 and does the variable. Teach him variables. All right. Cool. All right, let's go task five logical and bootlean operators. All right. Talk about logical operation operator. Let's see, bootlean operations, there's and or and not. And there's example. Let's see. A equals one if A equivalent to one or A greater than 10, then you print out A is either one or above 10. Then there's name equal Bob hungry is true. If name equals Bob and hungry equals true, then print out Bob is hungry. Else, what's the O? I think it's uh, equal less. If name Bob not hungry, then print out Bob is not hungry. Else, if all other if conditions are not met, then print out not sure who who this is or if they are hungry. So read the above section, complete. All right, tab six, shipping project introduction to if statements. Using if statements. All right, talk about if start. Is the younger driver 17? No, you are old enough to drive stop. Yes, you are not old enough to drive stop. Okay. So answer your questions below. In this exercise, you will code a small application that calculates outputs the shipping costs for a customer based on how much they spent. Click on, click, in the code editor, click on shipping.py tab. And follow instructions, complete this task. All right, complete. Once you write an application in the code editors, shipping PyTab, a flag will appear. What is the answer to this question? Need a hint on the code editor to the left of the run code button. There will be a hint button until you get started. So you can do this on, on your own or just put, click hint. So it will pop up. All right. First one, in this project, we'll create a program that calculates the total cost of customer shopping basket, including shipping. If a customer spends over $100, they will they get free shipping. So if customer basket costs over 100, we'll get shipping. If a customer spends less than $100, then the shipping cost is $1.20 per kilogram of the basket weight. Okay. So it will be shipping cost Let's see. Shipping costs minus, let's say, customer's basket costs. I think that's it. That's it. So it's basically shipping costs, which is this one, shipping costs equals customer's basket weight and shipping cost per kilogram. So it's these two. And then you plus the basket cost over here. So it's the shipping costs, print the customer's total basket cost, including shipping to complete this exercise. So it's shipping cost plus the customer basket cost. And there you go. Teach M if statement shopping. Total basket cost includes shipping is 86.8. All right. 
In shipping that pie on line 12 when using co editor's hint, change the customer basket cost variable to 101 and rerun your code. You will get a flag if the total cost is correct based on your code. The flag is the answer to this question. So it's asking to change 101. Shipping 12. Let's see. I don't think this is it, right? No, it's not. Because, oh, oops. Basket calls about. Yeah, there you go. Teach in my first app. Free shipping total basket cost including shipping is one on one. So all right, I hope that, that was easy guys. Uh if not, just rewatch this part. Uh task seven loops. So it talks about while loops, for loops. And it says answer your questions below on that code. Editor, click back on the script and a code, a code a loop that outputs every number from 0 to 50. Hit, you can use a for loop or while loop, must print from 0 to 50. Okay. So you can read the while loops, for loops, uh, but let me use the last example. And it says right here, in Python, we can also iterate through through a range of numbers using the range function. Below is some Python code will print out numbers from zero to four. In, pro in program zero is often the starting number, so counting to five to zero. Five is zero to four. So, let's say, okay. I, I'm going to say for i in range 0 to 51. Because we're, we're doing 0 to 50, so 51, so 0 to 51. It should work. Or in, uh, Let's see, bad input. That. Hold on. Oh, wait. There we go. That should be it. I for bad input. Well, let's see. That input line three for I. Let's see. For I in range five fifty one print I. That's four loops, right? Let's see. Try this again. For I in range zero fifty one uh, print. Oh, there you go. That was 
that's what we are. I'll spend. So DHM for loops while for okay. All right, guys. Uh, let's go task eight. Bitcoin project introduction to functions. So it just talks about def name the per parentheses and colon. All right. So answer the questions below. You invest in Bitcoin. Want to write a program that tells you when the value of Bitcoin falls below a particular value of dollars in the code parameter. Click on the Bitcoin .py tab. Okay. Write a function called Bitcoin to USD with two parameters: Bitcoin amount, the amount of Bitcoin you own, and Bitcoin value USD. The value of Bitcoin in USD, the function should return USD value, which is your Bitcoin value in USD. To calculate this in the function, you times Bitcoin amount variable by Bitcoin value USD variable and return a value. The start of the function should look like this. Duff. All right, once you've written the Bitcoin to USD function, you use to use it to calculate the value of Bitcoin and USD, then create an if statements to determine if the if value if value falls below thirty thousand dollars. If it does, the output message to alert you via print statement. Make sure your Python function has the same has the name Bitcoin to USD and use parameter names Bitcoin amount and Bitcoin value USD. Okay, so you can click hint. Or you don't want to, it's up to you. So the first one, it's this script right here, Bitcoin amount, Bitcoin value, first day. Okay. All right, let's see. So the start function looks like this. So when you, once you read in, use the calculated value of Bitcoin and USD, then create an if statement determine if the value falls below $30,000. If it does, I'll put, a I'll put a message or alert you. Okay. So USD value, it's, Bitcoin to US with two per Bitcoin amount. The function return US value, which is U times Bitcoin amount. All right, let's. Okay. See, to calculate this, you times Bitcoin amount variable by amount value USD. Okay. That's what you see. This one's easy. Then create an if, if statement. The value falls below thirty thousand dollar. Okay, so that one's thirty thousand <clears> dollar. <throat> okay, let's see. Um. 
write a function to calculate def coin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin amount, Bitcoin value, TSD. Let's see. It's a proper function. All right, let's see. Bitcoin to USD and investment. There you go. So Bitcoin mount variable. Bitcoin amount variable by Bitcoin value. So this is the Bitcoin value and variable amount. So, and that's it guys. Uh, teaching Bitcoin investor. And then next question, one Bitcoin is now worth $24,000 and your co-editor in line 14, update the Bitcoin to USD variable to 24,000. And see your Python program recognizes that your investment is below the $30,000 threshold. And yes, invest below $30,000, sell. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, you guys got lost or still don't get it? Just rewatch this part. It's pretty simple if you uh, just read through and follow step by step or you use the hint I did so all right task 9 files uh, looks like you just talk about the file name and it says answer questions below in the code editor write Python code to read the text file uh, text, uh, text file what is the flag in this uh, file okay so you follow along you can f equals open let's say flag x dot and then uh, print f read and yeah it was simple just replace flag x read print file read file read all right all right guys uh, last one task 10 imports and answer your questions below is read the task and run the python example code above in the code editor on the right so this is just uh, read the time, right? So import date time, current time equals date time dot date time dot now and print current time. All right, it's number 10, 735. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, you can share on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, hit the thumbs up. If you like this video, comment below. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. Uh, this is the part of pen test learning path. Let's see. All right, so learn. Part of CompTI Pen Test Plus. And we just finished Python Basics. The next one's gonna be Python for Pen Tester. 
and I'm gonna reset this. So. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm not in the IT industry, but it's something I really like doing. Uh, I already did a video how I pass the Conti AI A plus, the Security plus, and the Pentest plus. Um, then I'll be doing you know CYSA plus and Network plus uh, probably later after I finish the Conti AI Pentest plus learning path. And uh, anyways, guys, if you like this? Uh, thanks for watching. See you.